This is Dabu7, and we've got some updates on 3i Atlas. And as you can see in these images, it has no tail. This is something that stands out big time when compared to all the other comets that are here in the inner solar system right now. Le Mans, Panstars, they all have tails. This one had an anti-tail that flipped when it went around the sun. Now, the new information here that we got is the images released. You can see the one on the left here. It was from the Navis Observatory in Bager, Spain. And it shows this predominant central light source off of this thing. And as Avi Loeb has looked at it, he says it doesn't look like the coma, the morphology, has changed much since since the July pictures and images that they had. Now, we had a very, very fuzzy image released from the Chinese probe. They caught it, and you really couldn't make anything out. And then you have the Virtual Telescope Project, which caught the image here on the right. And again, no tail. And when you really zoom in on this thing and start to break it down, it's very circular in nature, and there's a lot of anomalies to this. They are saying that it, is, it has changed course. Now, in a normal set of circumstances with a comet, when a comet goes around the sun, it starts to melt and off-gas. That can change the course big time and even break it into pieces. We've seen all of this in the past. I've tracked dozens and dozens of comets. This one, this is the oddest thing I've ever seen come through our neck of the woods. They say it could have potentially lost some mass. Now, I don't like those guesstimations. It's like, wait till you get the data. But some are assuming that it melted something off and it jetted and kicked it off to the side to make it change course. Because if that's not the case at all, then this thing moved on its own, just like a Muamua did. So you can't be too startled knowing that the first inter interstellar object that came through here, a Muamua, did the same thing. It lifted off up out of here and changed course. And then they started talking about it. We can't do that again. This is a massive object. We need all eyes on it. Shoutouts to everyone out there trying to get images. Uh, much love to Dobsonian and Tiago, all the work he does. As I come across newer images here in the coming days and weeks, we'll look at this. But I'm going to leave a list of anomalies on a link below. And I'll be covering this in more detail on the live streams. But yeah, what the central light source is, they can't explain still. And here's, here's a, a big one to put with what I just said. They already said there was only 4%, 5% water in the composition. Even if all of that melted off, that's only 4 to 5% of the composition that could have been ejected. If all the water melted and kicked out, then you have none left on it. 4 to 5% is not much at all. And I don't know, we're going to... We're going to look at the data when it, when it gets kicked out here. We also have this rep, Luna, saying that she went to the government, and the government's saying that they're going to release all these images as soon as they open back up. How convenient. How doctored will they be and all this and that? Well, I'm still sticking with the backyard telescopes. They're providing some of the best stuff right now, unfiltered and just raw and not hiding anything. So... If you guys got any images connected to this, let me know. Dabu7 at yahoo.com. And eyes to the skies, y'all.